Hello everybody, welcome to using Otoflow 100 with Otosuite. My name's Amy Lennox, I'm the audiologist with Otometric. And today we're going to go through the tympanometry, reflex screening and reflex threshold. So the first thing you need to do in the software, like with all our devices, is connect to it. So if you just click on control panel, what's going to happen is you'll get this box telling you that it's synchronizing and you'll get these options here. You either want to create a new session, so that's if you're going to control the Otoflex through the Otosuite software, or you're going to say get session on Otoflex, so that's if you've already done the tympanometry and reflexes on the handheld and you want to pull them over to the software. Well, what we're going to do is say create new session. Now once it's connected with the device, I want you to have a look on the left hand side and it will tell you with, with which device it's connected. Now that doesn't matter so much if you've only got the one, but if you have the two, you just need to make sure you pick the correct one. So if I just want to do tympanometry, what's the quickest way to do it? I would use this up here. This is going to only do a tymp. Pump speed. Now AFAP is as fast as possible. 200 for an adult and I'm just going to do a tip on myself so you can see what happens. Press play here. And you can see in the top right hand corner that tells me that I've got a nice seal and now the probe's out of my ear. I don't have a nice seal. Here are my results here. Tympanic peak pressure, compliance, tympanic width, and ear canal volume. But say for example you have um, slightly different classifications for ABC, um, you can just change them here. I've actually just tested my left ear and it's come up on the right. What do I need to do to switch it across without having to redo the measurement? If you come up to edit, swap ear results, swap ear data. So now my right ear has disappeared and if I click on left, it's jumped across. So as with tympanometry, you can do exactly the same with the reflex screening and the reflex threshold. You can use the manual setup here on the left hand side of the screen. In the threshold screen, you've got the auto setting, so it'll just go through 500, 1, 2, 4, and whatever you ask it to do. Or you can manually select your frequency and level. The easiest and the most efficient way to do reflexes, however, is to use your user tests. Now, if you look at the bottom here, there's no user test loaded. So I'm just going to go up to the top. And these are my predefined user tests that I have set up for myself. So I have in here an adult long and adult short, which are the ones I use mostly. Adult long um, is full reflex thresholds, and adult short is just a reflex screen. So if we look at the screen first, adult short, you see at the bottom the change to adult short so you know that that's loaded and then you need to use this button down here to do your sequence so you just press play and what that has, has done is run a sequence that I've already preset it to do so I've asked it to do a one with it screen and a tip now I want to do some reflex threshold testing the quickest way for me to do it is to again use my preset reflex threshold user test so just go into test selector adult long in my case and then you just press play at the bottom here so as you can see it's trying to obtain reflex threshold you can change the criteria and the thresholds that it looks at if you go options Okay, so how do you get your user tests from the Odoflex into the software? What you need to do is go to the Odoflex itself and load the test settings that you want to use. So in this case, I'm going to choose what I call PD reflex, pediatric reflex. Now on the screen here, you can see at the top as to what the Odoflex is set to. So that means that the Oda Suite has pulled those settings across. I'm now going to click Save User Test. Okay. And I 
just want to name it exactly the same in here as it is on the outer flex. And there you go. Exactly the same. And now every time I want to load that, I just have to go into test selector as I have been with my other test and that has loaded. Okay. 